Okay, so again, you guys were uh, introduced to me. I am Auntie Ebony, you know, Mrs. Williams in the building. I am a CEO of Curves of Confidence. I also work for a government situation, you know. I I am happily employed with, you know, a city situation. And, you know, I'm here. I have a 15-year-old daughter and a 22, about to be 23 in April, son. Yes, he's the king. He's everything. I love him. I love both of my children. And I am married to my special man, Mr. Williams. My my man of 20, 21, 22 years. That's who I am. And this is... Hi, people. It's DJ Buns, drink maker, DJ, <laughs> whatever you want to call me. I'm here. I'm in the building. What's up? What are we talking about, sis? So today we are going to have a conversation. What, what, what should our first conversation be, Auntie Bun? Um, Niggas ain't shit. So that's our whole <laughs> line since it was like created no, I, I in the rhymes where they would say bitches ain't shit. No, 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 no. Niggas ain't shit. So we are that channel. So put your kids to bed and come and sit, <laughs> sip tea, sip a drink, whatever you need to do. We are here for it. We're going to get better at it. We're going to have lighting. We're going to have cameras eventually. But we've been putting this off for so long and we're together. So we were like... Two aunties in one room, let's get it started. So we're doing it. What else is it do? She's you miss some aunties, but it's okay. They'll be here at a later date. But let's get this conversation going. Why? Huh. So what's today? Today is Saturday. So it's going to be a snowstorm tomorrow. Another one. We, we live in New York, if you haven't noticed. Um, what should our conversation be? Let's see. Um, should it be our kids, you know, stressing us out? <laughs> um <laughs> The men, whether you're married or single, I, I, I mean, our careers, I mean, you know, want to do different stuff. Right now, the world has been locked down. We are traveling bugs. We usually travel three to five times during the year. And I can't go anywhere, so I'm like a crackhead. I'm like patting my shoulders, you know. It's Turban Saturdays. Get into it, because this will be a regular thing. No wig, no makeup, natural no, sisters. We here. We're beautiful. We love it. Okay? <laughs> um, Let's get into it. Why are guys not shit? You know what? I'm not going to say all y'all are not shit. Some of you are really good men, but we need to get to the basis of what's going on with us in relationships and why we having so much problems. You're married. You've been married. I am 10 years. We made 10 years October 15th, which is also my birthday, but we'll talk about it another time. Hey, nephew. My son walking by in the camera like we're not recording. I don't know what's happening. I, you know, this is why I said we got to get our setup together because then people <laughs> won't be walking up behind us. But anywho, so she wants to know why people aren't S-H-I-T. I mean, I don't know if we can curse on this channel, but I might make it where we can curse on this channel. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the answer. 20 years in the game with one person and I still don't know. I'm sorry. He's a Capricorn. I'm a Libra. What else is it? We have one kid together. He raised my son from two. I can't answer those questions. Like, he still ain't shit. But I love him dearly. <laughs> you know, I don't have we those. We love him, no. We love him. He's a good man. There are good men out there. But I need you good guys to kind of let us know like what what are we doing here there's a lot of confusion a lot of miscommunication people don't trust each other people don't want to be vulnerable people don't want to let go it's stepdaddy season i'm looking for a stepdaddy so <laughs> if you're out there i'm about to have the okay first of all i am the owner and ceo of curse of confidence we do boutique for plus size women because um <laughs> I'm so figured and I'm a plus size woman and you know, you know, we popping. So yeah, so that step daddy season t-shirt will be coming <laughs> soon. Just so you know. But I digress. Shout out to Keisha on Instagram for this step daddy t-shirt. I love you. It's a beautiful thing. Um but we need to find out what's going on between us, men and women, as far as why we don't trust each other. How can we get together and make How can fun? you guys not be liars? Can we just tell the truth? Can you just tell the truth? Sway. <laughs> You're not ready for it. Hello? I don't like you. Can you just be honest? Like, it's women out here that we don't have time for the games. We played enough for as long as it's been. Like, it's now or never. Why are we still having the same issues we had when we was 20? 
We don't have a problem telling our age because we look good. We 43, 44 in this shit. Get it together. It makes a no sense. I'm I'm not even gonna hold you. It makes no sense. Like you have good women, good careers, got they own, and you still out here wanna play games? Why? Sway why sway? I don't know. I don't have an answer to that. <laughs> I really don't. What do you think? I'm divorced. Auntie Ebony don't know. Auntie Tony is divorced. Auntie Tony, okay. She's single. She out here. <laughs> she for the streets, but not for the streets. <laughs> for the streets, but not for the streets. You know, we don't have time for the BS. We don't want to deal with it. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to be a part of it. That's it. Period. We not part of this. Uh, what's the young man? We not part of that crew. We not city girls. We not city girls. We, we used girls. to be city girls before we're city girls in the night, the early, the late nineties, early two thousands. Like we don't, we don't want to deal with that. You want a youngin that's out in the street gonna play with you and your money and your I penis? I'm not an independent woman. I, I, I need help. I'm not with this independent movement. I need help. I need somebody to help me shovel the snow, dig my car out, buy me some dinner. What's up? Like, I don't, I'm I, I'm really not with the independent movement. I need help. So don't be fooled. We're not all out here, independent women. I don't need a man. I need help. She don't need help. She wants help. That's the difference. No, I need help. I need help. Do you need help or you want, <laughs> Auntie Tony? She's a city employee as well, okay? She's always had her own since we met in 99. <laughs> Okay, so we've been friends for a very long time. So, do you need help or you you would prefer a man that's willing to help? I need help. I need help. I need help. Shoveling your fucking bins <laughs> poop out of the snow is not needing help. I, need help. I would prefer you to help me where I don't have to do it myself. There's a difference. So if you haven't noticed, I'm the auntie that's going to tell it all. I'm going to be real about it. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. And that's why I don't have a lot of relationships that I used to have now. Because I'm not going to pacify you. She knows that about me and many others have known about me. Absolutely. And they don't fuck with me no more. But that I digress. We'll talk about that in another episode when we talk about why friends ain't shit. But <laughs> today, <laughs> Auntie Tony says she needs help. I know for a fact she don't need help. I need help. But. I disagree. But I'll let her live in her moment. She says she needs help. <laughs> then we need to get her some help. We need to get, where are the men? We, we don't need, all right, if you want to be a young dude, a, new, a millennial as they call you guys, don't come with the drama. Like, if you haven't noticed, if you're trying to be with a cougar as we're noticed to be, we're known to be, right? A cougar because we're past 30s, 40s, whatever. If you're going to come and be in my face, then you already know what it is. Like, I'm not here to play the 30, 20 games. I'm not speaking to me because, again, I'm a married woman happily and I don't play those games. But I'm speaking to my single friends because I know them. Don't come to my friend with the BS. Speak the truth. Listen, I'm not looking for much. I don't want to do it. Don't be, oh, I'm not looking for much, but you want to be on the phone with me for 30 hours. <laughs> that's not the same thing. There's, there's, that's not the same thing, sir. That's not the same thing. So... You know, and I'm the friend, I'm the lawyer friend to the end. Excuse my nails. I, you know, I'm so out here. Okay. I need my nails down. I, was, I had some stiletto nails on for my husband's 44th surprise birthday party, and I've been trying to take them off. And my nail stylist, she got this shit on, it ain't coming off. So I got a couple of nails that's still on. I digress. But don't come with the foolishness. We don't want to deal with it. Especially, we have 20 something year old kids. We really do. We don't, we got kids, we trying to train to be ready for the world. We're not trying to train a man. And that's for my single people. Mary, I did what I had to do to be where I am today with the man I'm with. Okay, so yeah, I had to do some training too. But he know what it is now. 21 <laughs> years later and married and house, cars, properties and all. We, we did all that. Right now, I just want to come home from work, shower and lay down. And not with you sometimes. I might go in the guest room. And it's okay. It don't mean we having a fight and we arguing and we unhappy. I just need space. It's like you need space when you're down in the living room watching the games, football, basketball, whatever it is your pleasure is. Have fun. Do that. Again, back to the single people. Or newly divorced. Not newly divorced. How long have you been divorced? Well, I've, been, I've been divorced for since 2016. We're 20, 2016, five years? Yeah, about five years. Um, 
I think the problem is honesty. Let's just be honest. If you just want to get it in, just say you want to get it in. Like, there's no need for the dishonesty. You want to get it in? Let's get it in. If you don't, you don't. If you want a relationship, let's talk about that. We can have a relationship. If not, you know, people are cool with that. We don't have to bullshit each other. Um, Honesty. I think honesty is the most important thing to have in any relationship, whether it be a friendship, relationship, whatever it's going to be. But I think we need to uh, talk about honesty. What do you think? You can't have anything without honesty and trust. That's the number one factory in any relationship where we're just building to be friends, snap, lovers, snap facts. Uh, engaged, newly engaged, married, been together 10 years, 5 years, 20, it don't matter. Trust and honesty is everything. If you lie to me, I can't deal with it. Like, I'm ready to kill you over lying it's not that necessary it's not necessary to lie it's, tell the truth it takes more work to lie and to keep lie. up with that lie than just to tell the truth whether yeah. it hurt my feelings whether i'm not ready for it truth is everything and my husband who's a capricorn <laughs> he's with that and he be like yo you ask me and the fact that you're not willing to listen to what i'm telling you and that's my truth that's on you and i have to respect that i'm like <laughs> I hate you though. Like, stroke my ego. Lie to me. But I really don't want you to lie. <laughs> so this is nah. it's so much in detail. Like I don't want to be lied to. And to a certain extent, I do not want to be lied I want to. The truth. I want the truth. If you fucking her, say you fucking her. Don't let me see the text and the hear the voicemail and see the likes and loves under your um, Instagram and Facebook. And, oh, it's nothing. Meanwhile, you it's in the something. bathroom like, hey, yeah, she home, so I have to call you back. No, be like, yeah, she's a problem. I like her. She doing what you ain't doing. I'm sorry to hurt your feelings. What we gonna do about it? You gonna figure it out? We gotta figure it out. You gonna figure it out? You're going to figure it out. You know, I think as you get older, you process things. You're able to deal with certain things that you wasn't able to deal with when you were a little younger. You know, but all of this lying and faking and just being dishonest, it's just not, it's not conducive to what you're trying to do. A lot of people are trying to build. I'm trying to build. Let's just be honest with each other. It's not necessary to lie. You can find someone else to go do whatever you want to do. You want to build? Let's build. If not, I can move on. Somebody will deal with you that you don't need to lie to. So, I think honesty is paramount. Honesty is paramount in any relationship when you're trying to build somebody. If you're not trying to build, you just want to be out here doing what you want to do, that's fine too. But you can find somebody that just wants to play around and just not have anything serious but you know I don't know sis so this is the introduction to auntie's corner you're gonna get the real we're not playing games we're not gonna sugarcoat anything we're not gonna stroke your ego we're not gonna pacify you because I'm horrible with that my family hates me because <laughs> of it I'm auntie's corner we are auntie's corner I'm auntie ebony and this is auntie tell me Hi. And we can't wait to get this going, get our whole setup. We just figured we've been talking about this. I've owned Auntie's Corner name for a whole year when it came into our... Uh, let's explain how it started. Auntie Corner came into play during a really hard time for my family. We lost my father-in-law. Um, he died on his birthday. And um, during his repast, everybody was there, all family, all friends. And we were in a... Um, reception hall and we were like all the older aunts like you know we the older women were sitting in the corner and the kids came and was like what's this the auntie's corner and it stuck i grabbed it up and that's what it is this is auntie's corner uh, like i said you only go get the real we don't have time to be cute all right so <laughs> today there's no filters there's no makeup this is what it is it might not be like this every day no Maybelline. <laughs> no Maybelline, no Mac, like Auntie Tony said. <laughs> this is what it is. And I felt, we felt the need to upload this video today. Um, 
and many more to come. We're gonna get our setup. We're gonna get a little area, our cameras with the lights. We're gonna do all of that. But we felt like today was the day to start this thing, and it's been in the works for a year now. We gotta get the microphones and the beautiful ring lights and the little cute sitting areas with the, the flowers behind us and all that. But that's not what it's about, and I understand that's important for our viewers. But right now, we, we don't even need all of that. You know, this is real. It's it's just dirty. <laughs> and we don't we don't need the lights. We don't need the filters. This is just unfiltered, real, raw. It is what it is. And we're gonna speak the truth. You could either take it or you don't have to take it. We don't care. But this is what we're bringing, and that's it. So on that note, <laughs> be positive. Be a light in somebody's life. Please don't ruin anybody's day. Absolutely. That's not your goal. Your goal should be uplifting be that and living your truth and be a positive energy in your life as well as others. We out. Welcome to Auntie's Corner. Later.